Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Oakland Athletics going up against the Cincinnati Reds. First pitch coming your way next. And now here is Zach Gellar. And a pitch. Just off the outside edge. And we're underway here in Cincinnati. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Back gone. He wastes no time on this one. It's 1-0. Here's Logan Davidson. Four for eight in the series so far. Up the middle, De La Cruz. Throws to first. Just got him on that one. So here's Murphy now. Talk about being able to dial up the velocity. That first baseman over there might need a little pad inside that first baseman's mitt. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Seth Brown, the next to hit, takes ball one. And here it comes. Swings through that one for strike one. the ball good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with you're better off taking that pitch that's to third Longoria over to Merrifield and that's two with Merrifield up to the plate the pitch in the air, center field. And it drops in. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to. And you're never trying to do that as a hitter. But when you do, I tell you what, you're yelling at it the entire way to get down. the mark there and now 2-0 oh. no he's really working him away this at bat sometimes take a little bit off velocity try to get a rollover something on the ground stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield in the air left field Brown coming in on it no trouble here puts it away for the out and there's one away now it's Hunter Renfro two for seven in the series so far That one fouled hard the other way. The old one. Run around the move. One ball, they pitch one out. Strike. Throw to second. Oh. Ow! A's leading by a run here in the rubber match of this three game series. Two. Bounced out to short. Davidson. The throw to first. And Renfro is retired. Out number three. And welcome back to the ballpark. Second inning set to go. And here is Lawrence Butler. There's the strike.
And the right hander deals. Swing and a foul straight back. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Renfro going back to the warning track. Makes the catch. And now it's Joey Gallo. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One out, base is empty. Base knock, center field. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. It's hard to hit a baseball much better than that, and even a lot of professional hitters aren't able to reach an exit velo of 114 miles per hour. I'll tell you what, that's a very impressive swing of the bat. At the belt and fires. That one ripped right center field. And that should be extra bases. Gallo around second, headed for third, headed for the plate. The relay throw. Safe. Hey. Everything came together for him. Right Double here. into the gap, and that was a really nice swing to beat the inside Lamar. pitch. Just beat him to the spot. Moriano. Kept his hands tight inside that baseball, and that just allowed him to drive it into the alley right Lamar. there. Ramon Laureano now at the plate as he swings through strike one. And a pitch. Foul ball there. Man at second. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Oakland looking to add another here at the top of the second. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. Gene Segura at the plate here. Two for eight in the series so far. There's the strike. Just missed. One and one. And another ball. Not really attacking on the mound in this at bat. All breaking balls, so that makes me think they're not really wanting to challenge him here. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat. Drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ballgame. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Now it's the second baseman, Zach Gellar. He's already homered in this game. First oh, offering, and it just misses. Traffic on the bases with one already in here in the third and final game of the series. High fly ball down the left field line. And that'll do it. We head to the bottom of the second. Now the Reds cleanup hitter, Ellie De La Cruz. That one's in there, and that is strike one. You know, one of the most memorable innings ever for Ellie happened in July 2023. In one inning, De La Cruz hit a two-out single to take the lead and then proceeded to do something that a Reds player hasn't done in more than 100 years. He stole second, third, and home in the same inning. It only took two pitches for him to steal all three bases. Way high with that one. Going to count one and two. Wouldn't chase that time. And down on strikes. And one away. Here's the Reds catcher, Blake Sable. 
Ripped on the ground a second to first. Out. Two up, two down. Two outs, space is empty. Now it's Charlie Blackman. First oh. pitch doesn't That's find the out. zone. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Puts it in the air out towards left center on the move to the gap. He's got it, and the inning is over. And we're back. New inning getting started. Digging in for Oakland, Logan Davidson. Huh. In for a strike. It's 0-1. Davidson in his rookie season, batting second in today's lineup. And he's been touching home plate quite a bit lately, scoring eight runs over the last ten games. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. That one to first. Votto takes it himself. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Murphy in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Line drive caught. So here's Brown at the plate. Yikes, that ball was scorched, an absolute missile, and it almost hey, becomes self-defense as the fielder when one of those things comes screaming towards you. Watch your lips. The pitch. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Now batting. The designated hitter. Next is the designated Lawrence. hitter, Lawrence Butler. He's 0 for 1. Out to short, De La Cruz. Got him on the off balance throw. And that is that. Here at Great American Ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. In now for the Reds, Joey Votto. Hey. And that's in there at the knees. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Wouldn't chase that time. Kicks and deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. Next pitch misses way outside. Hit in the air, left field. Brown puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. Ripped to short. Whips it to Gallo. Longoria retired. Two outs, space is empty at the play. Stuart Fairchild. Definitely scuffling at the dish lately. Only two hits over the last five games. And yeah, that's in there for strike one. The A's leading by two here in the last half of the third. That one pushed foul. Swung on, belted. Brown ranging back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Back 
here in Cincinnati. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. And it's fouled away. The 0-2. That one missed. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. And that one hammered. That's back. And out of here. He'll circle the bases. It's 3-0. This is Dylan Carlson. He doubled home a run in his first A-B. And that's oh, off the inside edge. And that is ball one. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. And it's a ball and a strike. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. And it's even up. There's a high chopper, Longoria. Slings it across. Yep, out. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Loriano, yep. the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Strike. And he deals. Yeah, that's outside. Back-to-back -back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to check. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Out of here. He made him pay for that one. It's their second home run of the inning. It's 4 nothing. So one out, nobody on. Next up for the A's, Gene Segura. And Whoa. that's outside. Just off the inside edge. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. Swing and a pop-up. De La Cruz sizes this one up. And there's two down. So the lineup flips over. Next to hit, Zach Geloff. There's a strike at the knees. 0-1. Two outs, base is empty. That's Swings great. through that one. It's a strikeout. Bottom four. Now here's the Reds' leadoff man, Whit Merrifield. Right through there for a strike. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball. Oh, and two now. Stays alive. Right-hander kicks, deals. Fights it off, you'll see another. The wind of the pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Brown sizing this one up. Makes the catch. And there's one down. T.J. Friedel, the next to hit for the Reds. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. Loriano going back on this one. To the warning track. Makes the catch. 
Hunter Renfro at the plate. Right through there for a strike. No ball, one strike. Line to left, and it stays fair. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in, and he'll pull into second with two gone. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. De La Cruz in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. In the air to left down the line. And that is a foul ball. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Carlson settles underneath it and makes the play, and that's out number three. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now here is Logan Davidson. Strike on the inside corner. You know, these A's doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball. Swing and a miss. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Here's Sean Murphy. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. one Next ball. offering down in the dirt. Found back our way, and that's out of play. Line drive, and that's a base hit out into center field. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Another multi-hit game for him. He's been really hot lately. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Graham Ashcraft. He last pitched two days ago. Number 51. So here's the cleanup hitter for Oakland. Seth Brown, one for two. That right, one boom. finds the zone. 0-1. One, one. Left-hand hitter waits. Fought off foul. The pitch. Foul ball still 0-2. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Man at first. Digging in. Lawrence Butler. And a good eye there. Murphy off of first with two away. Clips the corner, and it's one and one. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Nope. Just a tough pitch to hit, and not an easy one to throw either. side throw over to Votto and that's the third out bottom of the inning here's the catcher Blake Sable 
foul back our way, and that's out of play. Well, these Reds just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. There's Chuck Nasty. Fly to left his first time. Ball oh, one there. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had them eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. One down, base is empty. Lifted in the air, right center field. Loriano trying to get there. He makes the grab. And there are two down. And the batter now is Joey Votto. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball. No strike. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. That one hammered, but pulled foul. The why to kick the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very well. He's under it to make the catch in center, and we'll take a break. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the top of the sixth. Here's Joey Gallo. Ashcraft back to work. That's a, ball. That's a little bit low. Oh, no. Gallo, a former Gold Glove winner, 30 years old now, a former first round pick back in 2012. Right handed reliever oh. just missed. Here comes a pitch. And another ball. Next offering in there for a strike. And it's a full count. Outside, and that is ball four. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. So, man aboard. And yeah, the batter now, Dylan Carlson. To the right side. Base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. The right fielder, number 10. Loriano comes up to hit. He's already homered here in this one. Not even close okay. there. Ball one. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Reaching for it. Makes the catch. Runner tags at second and he's in safely at third with one out. Here's the third baseman, Gene Segura. Good read there at second base to move up to third. Now it's a lot easier to get that run in with one away. Yeah. Right down to shoot, strike one. Grounder might be two. Fires to second for one. What a double play that was. Inning over. And we're back. Bottom of the six. Down the third baseman, Evan Longoria. Just missed. The 1 0. -oh. And another ball. Oh. 
That one finds the zone. And a count two and one. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. The pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Next for Cincinnati, Stuart Fairchild. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. One strike. One down, base is empty. Fastball for a strike. And it's 0 2. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. That's he can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. And oh. that's down and away. Base is empty, one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Bounce to third. Segura throw to first. Two up, two down. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the second baseman, Whit Merrifield. They oh. tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Two down, nobody on. That's a hit. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. See you later. He flexes his power with that swing. It's 4-2. Now it's on a Renfro. Right through there for a strike. Two outs. Bounce to the left side. Murphy throws the first in time. And Renfro is retired. Third out, and that ends the frame. Here at Great American Ballpark, top of inning number seven. Now it's the second baseman, Zach Gellar. And a pitch. That's inside. One and oh. The pitch. Just no, missed. The 2 0 is in for a strike. The pitch. That's off the mark. Three and one. And yeah, there's ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Logan Davidson up next for the A's. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Got it started a little too oh, early. Strike one. Rudder at first with no outs here. And it skips into there. Working down in the zone to start the at bad. Looking for that double play ground ball. Yeah, back to back sinkers there. He's looking for some weak contact or to get this hitter to roll over. Now, as a hitter, you have to be really disciplined. Don't look down because you'll end up chasing the ball down. Set your sights high. Maybe you get a mistake. Swing and a miss. And he struck him out. One away. Now it's going to be Sean Murphy. Sean Murphy. And a foul ball. Late with the swing there. Man at first one away. And 
And that one hit 97 on the gun. Goes down looking for the strikeout. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Seth Brown up next for the A's. One for three. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. So two on with two away. Here's Oakland's DH, Lawrence Butler. High in the air, out to right. Fairchild under it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Back here in Cincinnati, bottom of the seventh. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ellie De La Cruz. There's a strike. Hard on the ground to first. Gallo takes it to the bag. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Ripped on a line. Brings it in. Two down. Here's Charlie Blackman. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. Usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing, he has filled up the strike zone and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. Hammer, base hit, and that extends the inning. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. What? Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Votto stands in now and watches strike one. Tying run at the plate. Ready? Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure one, something two. out and figure it out quickly. Here's a one-two. That's one. down and in. With the tying run at the plate, here at the bottom of the seventh. Popped up. Gallo in position. Makes the catch inning over. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Tony Santiago. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high and it just breaks a ton. And now the first baseman, Joey Gallo. And a pitch. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. And out number one on the grab. So up next, Dylan Carlson. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first pitch. Man, he's going to want that one back, no doubt. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. You'll want. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Sable makes the play, out number two. Two outs, space is empty. Here's Ramon Laureano. He swings and fouls one off. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. That one way outside. And the count one and two. Two down, nobody on. 
Wouldn't chase Good. that time. Swing and a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Up next for Oakland. And now Gene Segura. Gene Segura. First pitch misses. Two outs. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. At the belt and fires. On the ground to third, Longoria. Sends it to first. Segura out in the play. That ends the frame. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Domingo Acevedo. He's certainly been one of their better relief pitchers this season. The numbers are really solid, so they feel great about handing the ball over to him. Here's the third baseman, Evan Longoria. And here it comes. Called strike right there. A strike on the outside edge. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. The 0 2. Next offering is outside. And down on strikes he goes. And that's the first out. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Stuart Fairchild. He was late there. Strike one. One strike. Base is empty one away. Here are the bottom half of the eighth inning. And that's outside. Now one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone now. So the batting order turns over. Whit Merrifield now at the plate. That one is hammered. Right field. Loriano going back. And it is gone. So he goes the opposite way with that one. His seventh home run of the season. It's 4-3. Base is empty with two away. T.J. Friedel, the next to hit for the Reds. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Holding on to a one-run lead here in the rubber match of this three-game series. Inside just missed. Slow ground ball to the right side. And he picks it up in foul territory. Very solid inning on the mound so far here in the eighth. Holding on to this narrow lead. This is exactly what they were looking for. Looking to get the tying run on base. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Left-hand batter waits. Got it by him for the K. I got my blessing to get the blessing for the bread tray. And welcome back to the ballpark. We go to the ninth. Here's the second baseman, Zach Geloff. And a pitch. There's a strike. Santion, a 6-3 righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. The pitch. And he can't come up with it. Safe at first, no play. We'll see how they score this. 
He was all over that one. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Man at first, striding to the plate now for Oakland, Logan Davidson. Bunch it towards the mound. On a second, they get one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. And here's the catcher, Sean Murphy. That one blasted deep to right. Back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Seth Brown. Swing and a miss. Going one. Going one. And a foul ball. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Swing and it's popped straight up. Nabs it, and that is that. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Jason Foley. Well, you see the ERA very solid, and that doesn't always tell you the whole story, but he's been really good so far this year. 3-4-5 due up for the home team. Hunter Renfro digs in now. He's been a great free agent side. Right through there for a strike. No ball. One strike. One run game. Bottom nine. On the ground to third. Down the line and it's foul. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Gets to it, on to first. Got him. One away on the strikeout. And here is Ellie De La Cruz. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. And there's a ball. A one-run lead. And the home team trying to pull it out. Next offering in there for a strike. And now it's even one and one. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. And the righty deals. Swings through it and that's a strikeout. The catcher number two. So they're down to their final out. Here's the Reds catcher, Blake Sable. This one driven, deep center field, on its way, home run! That should put a jolt into this home crowd. Third home run of the season, it's 4-4. So now here's the DH, Charlie Blackman. And a base hit up the middle. And now the winning run is on base. The the first base. Joey Votto, the next to hit for the Reds. Votto. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Carlson on a dead sprint, racing back onto the warning track, and he hauls it in. to extra innings. Digging in for Oakland, Lawrence Butler. Santiago back to work. Going one. Well, it's kind of deflating. Oh you blow that lead in the bottom of the ninth, so here's a new opportunity. Hit the reset button, try to get some more runs, and then close it out in the bottom half of this one. Next Ooh. offering is in for a strike. Absolutely frozen on that heater right down the middle, and that's a pitch you're just not getting back. Now he's in a tough spot. Especially after falling behind on a good first pick. Way inside, gets out of the way.
tied at four. And that's off the inside edge. And it's two and two. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. Joey Gallo up next for the A's. And that's outside. And that's ball one. One out. The go ahead run is at second. Line drive, and it's there just inside the line. To second. He's in safely at second as a run scores. Well, he gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. Just an awesome swing of the bat, quick hands, and just launched the baseball. 108 on the exit velocity. Man, that is coming off the bat pretty good. I know he's feeling good about it. Carlson in now, takes ball one off the plate. One run game. The A's looking for some insurance. There's a strike. Close, but called a ball. Two and one. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. And now the right fielder, Ramon Laureano. That one lifted to left. And that will drop foul. In there at the knees. The ball's two strikes. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Two outs and one in scoring position. Swings and misses struck him out. Back now as it'll be a pinch hitter to lead off, Matt Veerlin. And he's a right-handed bat, but he handles same side matchup. And he deals. Pitch misses. Ball one. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it. But this is where they earn their keep. So the tying run at second. In there at the knees. Two balls, two strikes. And another ball. We'll see another payoff pitch. Outside, and that is ball four. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. Left-hander out of the bullpen, Hogan Harris. Not having a lot of success against right-handed hitters. They've been hitting them around, so... This next matchup might be tough for him. First and second, no outs. Now it's the right fielder, Stuart Fairchild. That oh. one off the mark, and it's 1-0. Oh. Just off the inside edge. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. 
Ground ball left side could be two. Segura tossed the second, relay to first, double play. As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Merrifield stands in with two away as he takes a ball. With the tying run at third, and here in extra innings. And that one fouled off. And now the lefty on the ground to third. Can't field it cleanly. In comes the runner from third. All tied again. 5-5. Five, five. Two outs. Runner on first. T.J. Friedel, the next to hit for the Reds. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Two outs, but the winning run is at first. Runner takes off. Pitch is high. Throw to second. Ow! And that'll end the inning. Now we're in extras, and there's a new arm on the mound, McKinley Moore. Well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. Go ahead, run on base. Now the third baseman, Gene Segura. And a pitch. And a good eye there. Man at second. Two so two balls okay. and no strikes. Fouled off. He was late. Right hander kicks deals. And another ball. Three and one. Fouls one away and now three and two. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Now a screamer into the outfield. Balls it in and there's one away. So the Oakland lineup turns over. Zach Gellar up next for the A's. Oh. Pitch misses, and that is ball one. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Next offering is in one for a strike. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Here's a one-two. The other way. Base hit right field. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. Totally tied up with that inside pitch. Got to it late and deep in the zone, but he got the bat on plane enough to fight it off the other way. Next to hit, oh. Logan Davidson. Outside. 1 and 0. Oh. Two on, one out. Oh. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And another ball. In there at the knees. Strike one. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. And there's the strike. Oh boy, that was the pitch. 3-1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. 
up the middle flips for one to first not in time great effort there and now here's the A's catcher Sean Murphy this guy with big time run around the goal pitch in for a strike throw to second he's safe he gets the attention to walk here and now will force it any base with two gone so two down Seth Brown up next for the A's in the air left field Friedel gets under it squeezes it and that is that and we're back all set for the bottom of the 11th in now for the Reds TJ Friedel here comes a pitch oh, just inside. off the inside edge Next offering is in for a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. And it falls. Well, just a total nightmare for lefties. I'd be very surprised to see that matchup again. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff with base hit. This guy's got good power with one swing. He can win it for him. Got to be real careful here. 2-0. He's hunting for his pitch. Inside, just missed. Winning run on base at first, no outs. That catches the outside corner. Three and two now. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. The pitch. A laser to left base hit. Throw comes in, and the winning run moves up to second with nobody out. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. On the pitch now for Oakland, James Caprillia. His first test will be from the left side, and that's been a struggle for him this season. They've been seeing him pretty well and doing some damage against him. Tied at six, and now Ellie De La Cruz. And fouled off. A one down. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. He's falling behind in a huge spot, Boo. Got to do what it takes to come through. Maybe choke up on the bat a little bit, spread out those feet, whatever it takes. Headed down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. And the 2 Goes down looking. Two on, one out. And a batter now, Blake Sable. Swings and misses. That's strike one. And ball one. Way to lay off that pitch down. And that one lifted in the air center field. Carlson settles underneath it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's two away. So first and second with two outs. Now it's the DH, Charlie Blackman. Oh. And that's outside. And that's what ball enough. one. Winning run and scoring position with two away. Just no. missed. And yeah, the right hander deals. No. That one missed. Mm -hmm. 
Ball Take four. He walked in. And that keeps things going. Now that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. And now Joey Votto. Fastball in for a strike. It's 0 1. The pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. And this situation will keep a close eye on his approach. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Two outs. All one there. That's a really good take. High fly ball out towards left field. Brown reaching back towards the wall. Across is the winning run, and the Reds walk it off in the 11th. So exciting to see a team walk it off. Not so much fun if you're on the other side, but what a great way to win. This team is celebrating, and this win is well-deserved. One-run game here today. Your final score, 7-6. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll the see you soon. Score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Cincinnati Reds. Seven runs on 12 hits. Two